All right, we're rolling, people. Gustavo Adolfo Uribe here, uh, and on this video, I'm going to share some insights on rapping fast, okay? Because I saw some videos on YouTube, and there's some good stuff out there, but there are some things that I could 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 be expanded upon, okay? So some different takes on it. Um, I kind of thought about it here. And the subject is kind of long, so let me check my notes right here. Um... And I might do like a one part and two part uh, for this particular topic. But basically, secrets of rapping fast. Okay, philosophically, okay, it's rapping fast is actually an, an illusion, okay, in my opinion. Because what I've seen on videos is like they're, they're doing things called like uh, counting syllables uh, per minute or, you know, something like that. So to me, that's that's kind of like a doesn't really matter okay what really matters is how you're actually uh how three things like the lyrics um how well they're they're written in terms of of scansion in poetic terms like how well they they flow from the tongue right the other thing is how those lyrics are connected to the rhythm that you're using and then three like uh how well is it executed so there's three parts Okay, so let's start for uh, part number one is the actual lyrics, okay? Um, rapping fast uh, is a, if the foundation is the lyrics, right? So there's another video that I saw was pretty good and it talks about, you know, poetic things like uh, the words have stresses and unstresses. This is like Greek, Greek philosophy, you know, poetry, right? And there's like meters of the words, like... Like blah 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 like every word has a has a stress in it, an unstressed uh syllable. Uh and when you put those words together, there's an actual uh cadence to the phrase. Okay? So where where does that where's like the apex or the climax of that phrase? For example, I'm talking right now. Now, right? I'm saying something something um about this and that blah 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 uh walking down the park blah 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 but the park was blah 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 anyways the way the language is constructed in english or whatever or any other language there's like a subject a verb an object whatever how those interact and how that the main stress of the sentence that's kind of the the cadence okay and uh when you group multiple sentences together and blah 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 it's all connected okay and i don't want to um if this doesn't make sense to you just look up um you know uh poetry uh like just po poetry terms okay because what i'm talking about is poetry stuff okay and lyrics are poetry set to music so that being said uh the way that the words have consonants and uh vowels the way that they're um flowing connected with each other uh there's different terms for that so like if you have you know similar consonant sounds or similar vowel sounds or if you have uh similar um uh, not not the same but um almost similar like forced rhymes or near rhymes that are not exactly sounding the same but uh they can you can kind of manipulate to kind of sound the same so anyways there's a lot of shit about that and it's very deep and i could go way even deeper than this i'm just kind of giving an overview uh of what i'm my point is and my point is is that how well those lyrics are written to sing fast or rap fast is gonna determine the success rate of rapping fast okay it's not just like you could take any lyrics and just spit it fast and it's gonna be fast no 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 what i'm saying is is that how depending on how well the lyrics are constructed that's gonna determine the the how fast and how well you it's gonna be able to be executed <clears throat> okay so that's that's part number one let me see if I can get through this whole thing here. Um, now, that being said, um, 
step number two is the rhythm okay so what you're so I'm gonna give you a brief overview of, of rhythm I'm gonna try to make this video under 10 or 15 20 minutes because it's kind of a lot of stuff but anyways um there's three ways in my opinion of looking at rhythm okay there's the western way there's the African way and then there's the Indian way and these are uh, different music musics that I studied in, in Cal Arts, right? And this is my take on it. The Western way is you're taking uh, a measure. A measurement is like uh, beats per measure. So your uh, one measure has a certain number of beats to it. Like one, like four fours. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Like that, right? Um, or six eight would be like uh, one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three and then and then those note values would be eight notes. Um, if you don't get what I'm saying, just I don't know. Read, go into it, but you should at least know, be aware of that. <clears throat> okay, so the Western way, it's 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 a it's a div a division. You're dividing the measure into different um smaller and smaller and smaller units you're dividing okay that being said uh the f easiest way to get fast notes is the eighth note triplet um and the eighth note or 16th note triplet and then the 16th note um yeah so in other words it would be um Takara 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 for sixteenth note triplets. So takara 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 right? Or it would be um sixteenth note. So taka 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 like that, right? And notice I'm saying takata for triplets and taka or taka taka for sixteenth notes. This is really useful, okay? Because it's gonna it's gonna make sense when I go through the other rhythms, okay? So that's basically basically it. So if you want to get fast notes, you're gonna be using like that, and it's that's basically it. That's in a nutshell. So, anyways, um, the African way is 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 based on hemiola or three over two or two over three, which means that if I'm doing shit, I haven't done this for a while. Hold on a second. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Something like that, okay? So you're taking one, two, one, two, then triplets. Like that, right? I'm not too good at that, but I've, I'm really, really rusty. I haven't, I haven't done that in a while. But if you're a piano player, you're usually doing that, or, or if you're a percussion player or whatever, um, that um, two against three or three against two, that's basically the African music concept. So they'll they'll do beats like they'll that's that's the the grooves and how they swing their notes and blah blah blah. That's like the aesthetic, right? Okay. Now the Indian way is a little inter is interesting because um, you're using gears of a of a bike. So it's actually like a cycle within a cycle within a cycle, right? So you could do um, to illustrate that is uh one speed so one 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 two would be one two one two three would be one two three one two three one two three four would be one two three four one two three four one two three four five would be one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five six would be one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five seven like one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three so in essence it's like like tuplets in western music but it's speeds so you could take that speed and put it against another speed with it and then cadence it with a with how it links up would be the aesthetic so that uh so it, it's a little different than western music in the sense that it's kind of additive and the way it links up um, the threes to the fives or the threes to the sevens or the four against five, whatever, how it is, the way it links up, um, is, is the aesthetic. That's why I say a circle within a circle within a circle. 
in Western mu in Western music because it's divisive. That's not necessarily the case, you know. Um, and then when you get to really complex Western music and modern music, then they just do arbitrary ratios, which is just it's a mind fuck and whatever. That's all another topic. But if I uh, hopefully this this makes sense, and please ask questions in the comments if you want me to clarify or go something into more detail. But to summarize, what I'm saying is. Um, in Western ways, it's divisive. African ways, it's hemiola. And Indian, it's cycles. So taking these tidbits, when you're actually thinking about rhythm, you can think of as a musician, like practicing different uh, rhythms in, in the beat, in the actual instrumental of the rap song, of the hip-hop instrumental. So if, for example, like... <clears throat> I'm just beatboxing up to like like a boom bat boom bat beat right like there's a million ways to rap on there so you could like really straight like like so like or different cycles and you could, it's like basically in the higher the cycles in, in Indian way of thinking, you're going to get more syllables or the, or that, uh, the tuplets in Western music. Um, or if you think of African way, you could just, you know, hemiola, but you could add those, those, uh, f like filler notes within that. So you could swing on the beat and then add stuff to that. So yeah, that gets really complicated. So now we're going to step three, execution, right? So basically, um, um, you have to match the lyrics to those rhythms, right? Because every word already has a rhythm associated with that word. For example, park is one syllable, right? um parking two syllables right uh parking structure it's two words but parking structure right so that would be like a like a tucka 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 parking structure tucka 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 parking tucka okay um let's do a, a triplet word i'd be like Fortify. I'm just thinking something. Fortify. 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 That's a triplet. It already has a triplet built in, right? So what you're doing is you're matching these words with the rhythms to the actual beat divisions or the cycles or the swinging within the swing. <clears throat> and that's how you get rapping fast. That's that's what it is. It's 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 the art of taking these words or, or phrases and and linking them appropriately to the to the rhythm manipulations of the flow or your rap lyrics and that's how you get that's the secrets of rapping fast uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys because it's kind of a it's not like there's no there's no there's no right w right way or wrong way. Because once you understand what, what I'm trying to say in this video, you can analyze and dissect uh, how other rappers are rapping fast. Are they using... Um, there's, uh, there's another way of thinking of rhythm, which is the jazz way of thinking of rhythm, which I just thought of, kind of on the topic. In jazz, they'll say, <clears throat> you're either on top of the beat, in the, in the, on the beat, or behind the beat. So when you're behind the beat, you're kind of swinging it, when you're on the beat, you're really like tucka 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 on the grid. <clears throat> when you're on top of the beat, you're a little bit before like, but it's really really punchy, you know. So it's still all of those concepts are in the pocket, but different ways of different variations of being in the pocket, which is kind of like the um, African way of thinking of of uh, rhythm. So, anyways. Um, because in the hemiola, you're you're actually you can accent different ways of of that swing, 
Okay, again, that's kind of complicated. It might go over people's head. But anyways, whatever. That's not the point. The point is, is that um, when you're listening to someone rap fast, you're asking yourself, first of all, how are they in the pocket? Are they going straight into it? Are they swinging it? You know, are they on top of it? Like, for example, uh, like a trap, trap Migo style is very kind of on the beat or on top of the beat and taka 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 very on the grid and those they'll have their triplets and those and they'll they'll do that um hemiola thing but it's very on the grid you know uh rather like an old school rapper they'll like swing it taka 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 da like Tupac or something, right? Very swingy, very swingy. Um, but that being said, like I said, it's just um, you're using the words that already have the rhythms built in and applying them to those to those to those rhythms the way you manipulate it and the way the how well it's written will determine how well you can execute it. Now I'm going to talk about the pitfalls of rapping fast. This video is kind of getting long, but uh, I think it's good stuff in there. The pit pitfalls of rapping fast is that I've noticed that when you're rapping, when you're rapping fast or someone's rapping fast, uh, because you have so many more words or syllables within the phrase, um, a lot of times is there's a lot of filler words like motherfucker is a filler word um, And then you have other adjectives adjectives are really like filler words You know like anything that's an adjective um, um, uh, What's a good word adjective uh, yeah, some words that end with Lee or or something something Lee or tukura, 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 like let's say I'm going to the store, right? And I'm I'm magically, tragically, uh savagely going to the store, right? Three kind of like adverbs or, or adjectives to describe the way I'm going to the store, right? So that's a filler word. Magically, tragically, savagely, right? So what happens is because there's these filler words, it, it tends to not make grammatical sense or the narrative gets kind of, uh, of the, the narrative of the lyrics get kind of abstract, right? Which starts to not make sense. So <clears throat> um, my critique and advice for if you're trying to rap fast, uh, obviously there's a lot of pieces to the puzzle, but when you're actually writing these lyrics try to make sense or try to have something that um still has some type of value in lyric writing right if you're just gonna punch out a bunch of adverbs and adjectives string them together i mean i could go in the rhyming dictionary.com or whatever i could find a million words and i could you know rap three thousand miles per hour just doing that, but it's not going to make any fucking sense and no one's going to care, right? The other pitfall is that there is a threshold where if you rap too fast, it will not make sense. So, I mean, there's people like uh, on YouTube or whatever, they're like, oh, I can rap faster than Eminem, blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, maybe you can rap faster than Eminem. Good for you. But can you actually understand what that person is saying? You know, when they're rapping fast, because if it's like, blah, 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 it's like it becomes un unintelligible. So that's another pitfall to consider. Uh, I think that's that's pretty good. I'm wrapping up the points that I wanted to talk about. Um, oh, yeah. Now execution. Right. So breathing and enunciation. Basically. Um, this video is, is compressing a lot of information, right? So there are other videos that I have that go into more detail, but, uh, basically, uh, you gotta activate your diaphragm here, uh, 
it's this right here. So you're putting pressure, a little slight, slight pressure, and that way you get have a lot more breath, right? And you gotta stand up straight, uh, get your posture, and then you're concentrating your placement, kind of almost nasally, so like in this area, and that way you'll be able to have a crisp pronunciation, right? That's kind of the the trick to it, you know. If you want to get it really, really fast and really, a, a really precise. It's going to be like in this part of your face, not in your throat, not in your chest, because you want to have it crispy so you can understand the, the consonants are probably going to be the most important part in rapping fast is to actually hear the consonants because you can kind of um, the vowel sounds. We'll kind of, when we're hearing, the, the listener is hearing, they're kind of going to fill it in in their head. So just the consonant sounds. It's kind of kind of how it sounds like, right? Anyways, fuck it. I think I'm done, dude. We're talking about this. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment, uh, subscribe, all that stuff. And then that way I could get more feedback on like what's what's valuable to the to the listener or to the viewer of these videos. I'm trying to like just get my uh, uh, knowledge out there because there's a lot of, um, you know, there's there's different ways of learning. You know, sometimes you watch the same subject on different people and you get different angles and different views of, of that topic. So that's why I like to do it. Um, and then, you know, I have a lot of music on YouTube and Spotify and I got a lot of new stuff that I'm working on that's going to come out. So that way you could kind of hear uh, the kind of music I do and you know, see, evaluate for yourself. Yes. Bye. Thanks.